friends. All right, we are going to start our first and only body paragraph for this essay. So if you remember with the vending machine article, when you read it yesterday, when we went through the um, highlighting yesterday, we talked about how we're only going to do one body paragraph for this particular essay. We could do more than one. We're only going to do one for this one. Um, just kind of make it easier for us in the long run. And it really can be answered in just one body paragraph. So that's what we're going to do. We're always going to have an introduction. We're always going to have a conclusion. So we're going to have the least amount of paragraphs you can ever have for an essay, which is three. Introduction, body paragraph, and conclusion. So hopefully you remember the prompt from yesterday. I'll read it to you again, just in case you forgot. The prompt says, imagine that you were a parent in the audience when these speeches were delivered. Based on the details and evidence in these two speeches, which speech do you agree with more and why? Support your claim with evidence from both speeches. Yesterday in our highlighting, we decided that we were going to talk about why we agreed with the supporting of vending machines, why we should have vending machines in schools. So that's going to be what this body paragraph is going to be about. Now you'll notice that, sorry, that was my completed one. Whoops. You'll notice that I changed something on your paragraph diagram. I added the word body here to body paragraph. There was a lot of confusion when it came to numbering these paragraphs. And so I added body paragraph here because I want you to remember that your introduction should always, 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 always go first. Nothing goes before the introduction and your conclusion should always go last. Nothing should go after it. So if we only number body paragraphs, hopefully that will help with some of our confusion that we have. So I did change that here, just to kind of give you that heads up. So to start by filling out the basic information, you'll notice that I went in as well and marked out your transitions, marked your lead offs and follow ups. I circled argument. I did some of the basic stuff that we knew we were going to already need. I just went in and did it for you. It's one less step you have to worry about here doing this whether you're writing or typing. Um, if you're typing, this is definitely one last step. If you're writing, you still technically have to do it, I guess, but whatever. Um, so we're going to go through and we're going to put in our basic information at the top. So the title of our essay here, what we're talking about is vending machines. So that's just what I'm going to title my essay. Let me kind of tab around here a little bit. This is, this is going to be body paragraph number one. It's the only body paragraph that we're doing, but it's still body paragraph number one. I'm going to go ahead and put my name. And you can put your core in here. I'm going to space you some more. Whatever core you are in. I put all three because I'm in all three classes. I'm just an Excel. I'm just accelerated at life. All right, moving on. So topic sentences, we're starting with our topic sentence. Now you'll remember when we did this with the argument or with the informative essay, I did my topic sentences down here in the speaker notes. That way uh, I could refer back to it if I needed to and you can't flip on the computer. So my G, my C, and my S. I'm gonna make this bigger down here. That way I can see it a little bit better. Just give me one second. Too far. My S got weird there. Okay. That made it a little bit bigger. All right. So we are talking about vending machines and why we should have vending machines. Okay. We're going to list the reasons as to why we should install a vending machine. Cause that's what it said. It said, which do we agree with more and why? So we're going to say that we agree more with our, um, see, or our position statement is going to be that we agree with installing vending machines in schools. This body paragraph is going to be about why we should install, install vending machines in schools. So my general topic sentence is going to be, there are reasons to install, I'm going to type a lot slower, sorry. There are reasons to install vending machines in schools. Remember that you can pause this video at any time if I'm moving too quickly. Okay, especially when it comes to typing. I know I type much faster. I'm going to try and type slower, but I forget sometimes. So if I'm typing too fast, pause the video, catch up with me, and then keep going. There are reasons to install vending machines in schools. Okay, now we're moving on to cluing, what our cluing sentence is going to be. All right, 
So for my cluing sentence, I need to add a clue word. Lots and lots of options for clue words. Uh, hopefully, if you have your gray binder with you, you have your yellow transition sheet. If not, you can always Google transition words. Uh, or Sorry, not transition. Don't Google transition words. Boop, ignore me. Poop, 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 erase. Let's try that again. Hopefully, you have your sheet so you can look at cluing words. You can't Google cluing words because I don't think anything will pop up. Uh, so you kind of have to remember some of them that we always use. I, we always use many. Don't want to use many again. Let's use let's use multiple. There are multiple reasons to install. Oops. Yep. Vending machines in schools. Okay. Check. 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 Got it. I have my general. And I have my cluing. Okay. At this point, I need to stop and think, all right, what uh, am I going to talk about in this body paragraph? So we need to kind of go back into our text and I'm gonna actually pull up the one that I highlighted here. Give me a second, I took the highlighting off, that way you guys could. Yeah, here we go. Is this one I wanted to? Yep. I took the highlighting off, that way you guys wouldn't, you could do it on your own and have to get extra copy. Okay, here's the highlighting. All right, we highlighted lots of things, so we have to decide what we're going to talk about. Okay, we're going to talk about, well, this one talks about it paying for things, so that's probably an important one to talk about. So let's talk about how vending machines can pay for certain things in education. Um, this one's about paying things again, so let's not do that one. Um, this one's about paying for stuff, um, eating foods in moderation. Okay, so we could do this one where it talks about um, like providing healthy choices. So vending machines can provide our students with healthy options for snacks. Um, what's this last one about? Oh, this is about keeping students safer. Remember how we talked about how safety vending machines can keep our students at schools. Okay, so let's use those three. Let's go back to this one. Okay, and let's say uh, vending machines um, can help pay for student, our, let's pay for many, nope, let's do vending machines can help pay for our students education. Okay. So we have our students education. Um, can help our students provide students with healthy snacks. And our last one was about keeping students safer. So and let's just put and keep our students safer. Yeah. Okay. So we've got our three here. We have can help pay for our students' education. That'll be our first lead off. Can provide healthy snacks, students with healthy snacks. That's our second lead off. And can keep our students safer. That'll be our third lead off. All right, so let's start um, and put our first lead off in. That way we kind of remember when we pick up on this tomorrow. But first, let's choose a topic sentence actually. So topic sentence that we're going to use. Um, lots of options, I think. I want to use my cluing this time. So I'm going to kind of move this down a little bit here so I can see my this up here more. Okay. I'm going to use my cluing. You can choose any topic sentence that you want. Don't have to choose the same one as me. I'm going to use cluing. There are multiple reasons to install bend, oops, bending machines in schools. Okay. I'm going to put my circle in. Again, you don't have to. I'm just going to, I like to have all my bases covered here. Don't have to do it. I'm just being weird Miss Bosnango. Likes to have all of her stuff done. Check, check, done. Okay. You know what? I think we're actually going to stop there. So tomorrow when we pick up on this, or sorry, not tomorrow, um, on Monday, 
let me pick up on this. We will get our first, we'll do our first and probably second lead offs. We'll do lead off one, follow up one, lead off two, follow up two. All right, if you have any questions, drop a comment or send us an email. I'll talk to you guys later. Good luck.